Hello and, and welcome to MicroCap Tutorials. My name is Paul. We're going to work on resistor divider networks uh, with noise and then we're going to reduce this noise uh, using concepts like the Thevenin and low-pass filters. So it starts with a voltage source that, start, that has a 2.5 lift or 2.5 offset, a um, amplitude of 2.5 and a frequency of 100. So this signal should go from 0 to 5 and since it's a resistor divider, we should see the output go from 0 to 2.5. So we see this effect. It doesn't go below the origin. The input goes up to 5, and the output goes up to 2.5. Okay, that's fine. Now, in real circuits, you're going to have some type of noise component. And you may not know what it is, but it may occur to you, or you may be able to measure it in the lab, and then you have to go back into your simulation world and determine how you're going to get rid of it if it's causing problems. If the noise is tolerable, and uh, you understand all of its dependencies, then probably you leave it alone. But generally speaking, noise is a bad idea. So we're going to create a noise source here, and we're going to make it have a frequency of a million, or one meg, and the voltage change is going to be half the volt. So we're not going to we're not going to have an offset with this, but we're going to have 0.5 as the voltage here, and then we're going to say one meg like that. Okay. All right, so what we expect, and it, it doesn't really matter where you put this voltage source, it could be on top or below, they're both going to superimpose or add, so it doesn't matter symbolically how you want to represent that. But we're going to run the transient analysis again over a window of 10 millisecond, and now we see these traces here. Now you can see that they've gotten a lot thicker as a result of us adding 0.5 volts to the input, and you can see that it's half the width on the output because of the resistor divider. That resistor divider is going to um, divide the voltage through uh, whichever voltage it experiences. Uh, so all frequencies, all noises are going to get divided. That's one way that you can reduce the noise component. However, all of this is now going below the origin. So if this is a digital circuit of some kind, we don't want that to happen. We only want everything to occur from 0 to whatever the high voltage is. It might be 5, 3.3, 1.1, one or whatever uh, for whichever system you're interested in. If we zoom up we can start to see the frequency that's our one meg that got added so how do we get rid of that uh, if we wanted to? Well one of the best ways is to do a resistor divider uh, I'm sorry a, um, a uh, low pass filter RC network. So we're gonna set this at 1N 1 nano and we're gonna connect this to the output So now let's see what happens. Transient analysis. We're going to run it again. Cool, right? So you have a large, noisy input signal, but the output is still very clean. And its resistor divider composition goes up to 2.5 and goes down to 0. So you took a very noisy input and you were able to clean it up uh, really nice. Now, the choice of capacitor is going to be dependent upon the input resistance um, or the output resistance depending on how you're seeing it. So this capacitor is going to be coupled with these resistors as, they, um, as they're impacted with the source. So make sure that you're aware of that. So in order to calculate this we would do a Thevenin resistance. So we would pick this point, we would set these um, essentially to ground and we would remove the load like that. Well, how you can do that in microcap is you can set it to disable, something like that. And then if we were to look back into this and find that these are a resistor divider composition, it's going to be 5k because of the parallel division. And then that is what our Thevenin resistance can be expected to be. So from the capacitor's perspective, it's going to see a 5k resistor. So if, we, if I run this simulation again, you'll see that effect. But if you notice, this signal is now on top of the old one. It's going from 0 to 5 volts. That's because no resistor divider is shown in this, in this uh, example for just the frequency content or for the filtration effect. So if I want the division effect and I want the frequency uh, reduction, uh, I have to have both of these components in there. And there's other ways of, of realizing this, but this is the most simple one that you can do. So there you go. Uh, now, if you wanted to do this a different way, if you wanted to uh, re remove this sort of Thevenin understanding, then what you could do is you would remove these components, you would put some type of op amp, and then you would have some type of output resistance. 
maybe 10k, I don't know. This is just an example. So there. And then you would have the input going in there, and then whatever it is, whatever your feedback would be. Uh, unity feedback, this might be a buffer or a follower, something of that nature, but the point of the op amp is to change the input impedance um, to infinite and the output impedance to zero, and then it decouples these two natures from each other, the division nature and the RC filtration um, nature. However, if you're doing this in a product, then you have to keep in mind the cost. So the op amp might be 20, 30 cents a part, depending on how many you're buying, and then you have the additional part of the resistor. So generally speaking, try to keep everything very simple and easy um, as long as it stays within the tolerance and specifications of your product and then you'll get the performance that you're looking for. So thanks for watching, have a great day.